Well guys, I got some good news. It's pretty wet outside, so we can't be in the field. So you know what that means? We're working on the house. What? How do you sneeze in a mask? I don't know, you just blow it out. For three hours of work, I'm gonna say Noah and I made some pretty stinking good progress. I'm gonna show you guys something. The uh, contractors ain't done with our bins yet and there are some things they need to get done and our chutes that are coming out of our side of the bin. The contractor said the other day they need to get cables on that to stiffen it up and I see what's going on now. The unloading chute is whipping around it is making our bin sheet bow in and out on our bin i don't know what to say guys i really don't it's let's just hope it don't tear up our bin i'm working on the oliver tractor we're going to change filters oil filters air filters Cooper changed the fuel filters on the 340 case the other day. He did have it running right away for maybe three minutes. And then uh, today he's went to start it and it just acts like there's air in the system. So we're going to bleed it. Did you see any crud come out of that filter when you... No. Let's add just a little bit of air in that engine. Start it up now. So this morning, negative seven degrees out, got 23 mile an hour winds. It's a stinking ice cube. Luckily, we don't have to be out there for very long. Scott from Tight Tires coming down. Oh, hey, Scott. How's it going? You look different. I look better. Scott's supposed to be here at nine o'clock, so we're gonna see if he can actually show up on time. Oh, wow. It's easy, take Oh, you, know? you got it. Traffic was horrendous. Right now, you can tell who the three best guys are here. Cooper, are you take, coming take in the sky? Oh, wow. man, we got the merch on, I like that. Dude. I can't prepare, really. I wore my name tag, so they know who I am on the video. Hey, Scott, how you doing? I like it. <laughs> you like it? Why didn't we have Scott out again? I don't know, it's not important. Let's get back to work. Take this door a little bit, a sledgehammer tapped in where the nails were. Trying to make it, you know, before we had to kind of slam it. Are you kidding me? We slammed that thing for 20 years and that's all it took? Yeah. <laughs> oh, come tend the garden with me. We have so many seeds to sow. When the harvest comes in, it will be time to share with me. Dad and I sat standing in that doorway for an hour looking out the window. We sat down for five minutes. All of a sudden we hear the door to the big machine shed open and someone yelled. Somehow he snuck in through here, got his semi turned around without us seeing him or hearing him, but I don't know, he's still- I'm surprised they trust you to drive that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anything over 10,000 pounds, you gotta have Four chains. Under 10,000, you could put one chain in a binder and back and one in front. What about no chains? <laughs> oh man, oh man. It'll take me long to fall asleep. Oh, I think my eyes nodded a couple times. I felt my head pop drop my phone. All right, I'll sit in there. You go clean out the bed. Thanks.
Noah and I have made a big dent when it came to getting the bulk of the plaster down and picked up, but now it's time to take care of this interior lath on all the interior walls. There's no insulation behind that, so we need to be getting this stuff pulled out. We should be able to see all the way through the house now. We have quite a bit of this fine cleanup to do. And last but not least, at the bottom of the stairs, we've got quite a bit of plaster yet to go. trying to get the birds out of here so they don't crap on stuff. I forgot to close the door last night, so we got the overhead door open. See, see, see. Here goes a couple. Got ourselves a big old mess. But we have no more plaster hanging up now. Now we're going over to the second bin. I think we got her, we got her. This way everything's ready, so if we're trucking a lot of corn out and it quits coming out of the side, we can start the tractor up quick and we can fill them over here. truckers coming this morning kind of back to back to load up with, with corn. We are going to go to the center fill instead of the side dump. With the trucks coming I thought it'd be nice to get some of the core out. What I mean by the core is right in the middle of the bin is a sump hole that goes down to the big auger coming out. So sometimes in the very middle of the bin, right in the middle, that's where the hot spot will usually start and it works its way up. I'm not worried about this corn because it's good and dry, it's good quality, but I figured I might as well go ahead and start corn the bin out, take it right out of the middle. That's where usually the fines, the loose stuff is when you're first putting in the loads of corn. So let's get rid of that. Turn my glasses. My court starts trying to find her glasses and they're stuck on the top of her head. Oh, they are. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> we got summer coming over here pretty soon. Mama Corn Star, summer, and I'm going to be the chaperone, but I guess we're going to repaint the. Yeah, you're going to work. We're going to repaint the. Uh, I call it the Corvette because what we got into this little building, it would be our yes. Corvette. Yeah, the whole building's a Corvette. But anyhow, we're gonna give this another coat of paint. There was just some spots. It looks good, but the paint's sucking in a little bit, and we just decided, you know what? We got everything out of here before we start putting trim up. Let's go ahead and give it another coat of paint. We are now officially at the fun part. We've been pulling down all the small laths, so all the things that are in the small areas like this, and then we've been pulling down the big lath that's been on the walls. Got the nice lath mountain in there. Honestly, the lath really isn't that bad. It's just... It's actually, actually pretty time consuming because you have the inside of the wall and then you have the other side of the wall. I, I would just go on, like once I get one side off, then I usually just take a hammer and then you can just knock them off kind of one smack at a time. But the only problem with that is it breaks them up into really small chunks and then it also just makes them basically into giant game of pickup sticks on the floor and it actually takes longer to pick them up and stack them like this than it does to just take it one off at a time with the crowbar and do it nicely. And also my aunt and uncle, want to use the good pieces of lath because they are building a what's the word I'm looking for 
a grain bin gazebo and they want to use this as the ceiling of it and so it'll kind of have that that cool older look i guess so when i do the hammer method it breaks them up more too so they can't use as many of them and then last but not least we got the really fun part which is cleaning all the plaster off these stairs and the bottom part down there and i do have one little wall of wood paneling i still need to get off speaking of wood paneling it's kind of one of those things if we want to get to the plaster that's behind it we had to take it off and looking at it i don't think that was original to the house because when i was taking off some of the stuff down there as we can see that is painted so it was definitely added in after the rest of the house was built. And it's also a little bit different style of wood than what we have on the doors and what we have around the door frames. And slightly different color. I don't know if the color thing maybe had to do with there was no shade over that window so the sun has just been coming in here for a hundred years and I would imagine it's probably lightened the color of the wood a little bit. I'm going to have a really 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 fun time getting behind this radiator. By the time it gets dark today, I hope to have all these stairs cleaned up of plaster, all this wood out of here, all the plaster down there out. Our freezer is behind that door and normally we go through there and right now I have all these doors taped off so that way dust can't get into the rest of the house. So it's kind of nice to be able to go through that door to get to the freezer instead of walking all the way around, walking all the way through this while you're trying to carry a couple bags of frozen chicken. Now, as I say, ain't nothing to it but to do it. I'm gonna go grab the dump truck, pull it out under this window. Oh my goodness, it's a miracle. Usually this thing gets buried behind like nine things. Well, that's not good. I've never had this not start for me. Sometimes she's gotta coax it for a little while, but she's always started. She wants to, she wants to. Yes. Hey, yeah. Ooh, get warm in here, guys. Then we got a little spider monkey up there climbing on stuff. Always told her to stay off the furniture. What's she doing? Spider monkey. How to remove a screen from a typical house window. Got it. There's a place I have found in the shade on the ground. Far from a worries and troubling sound. When I go there to be by myself, only me. I came there to see There's a sun